Hello, I'm District Attorney Amy Wyrick. I hope this message finds you and your family safe. Given the many changes that are taking place, I wanted to update you on some things. First of all, what hasn't changed is our responsibility to improving public safety and to protecting victims. We are open. The District Attorney's Office is open every day. We are handling dockets in every one of the General Sessions Courts and the Criminal Courts, as well as Juvenile Court. Every judge is here every day handling cases. The cases that are being handled pursuant to the Supreme Court order are only in custody cases. This has caused a little bit of confusion for you victims and witnesses who have been subpoenaed to court by our office. If you are a victim or a witness, you will be called by our office to let you know if you're needed in court. We are only needing victims and witnesses right now who are connected to in-custody cases. But if any of you have questions, don't hesitate to call at 901-222-1300. There's a little bit of confusion because the mayors have asked us to stay home, to stay safe at home. But if you have a court order, if you have a subpoena, you are exempt from that order because you are necessary to the administration of justice and the criminal justice system depends upon you. So again, we will call you to let you know if you're needed or not. If you don't hear from us the day before your court date, call us and we'll get an answer to you. If you're a victim of a crime, we want you to know that law enforcement is still working as hard as they ever do. Shelby County Sheriff's Office, the Memphis Police Department, Germantown, Collierville, Bartlett, and Millington, all of those officers day in and day out are doing what they do every day, protecting you. So if you are a victim of crime, please call and report it. I've thought often of the citizens in our community who suffer from domestic violence, child abuse, elder abuse, those victims of those crimes often live under the same roof with their abuser. Home for them is not a safe place. If you are a victim of domestic violence, if you know someone who is a victim of child abuse or elder abuse, please get help. Please make sure law enforcement knows. If you're an adult in the state of Tennessee, you have a duty to call law enforcement and report if you suspect that any vulnerable adult or any child is suffering at the hands of someone else. But if you are a victim of domestic violence, you can and must reach out for help to the Family Safety Center and other agencies in town that can and will provide help to you. The contact information for the various agencies will be linked at the end of this video. I've fielded a lot of questions lately about price gouging. It's infuriating to me and to law enforcement to think that there are citizens in our community that would take advantage of this situation. If you think you have been the victim of price gouging, it's actually the state attorney general's office that is set up to handle those. We are also going to link the contact information to the Consumer Affairs Division of Mr. Slatery's office, and he's the state attorney general. If you've recently been charged with a crime and you are out of custody, you might get a letter from me that looks like this. We are sending out hundreds of letters to out of custody defendants telling them that we've reviewed their case and we're dismissing their case and that you do not need to come back to court. So look for a letter like this. If you get a letter like this, it's not a joke. Again, we've sent out hundreds of these already and we will continue to do that as we learn to function in this new model. The other topic that many people are talking about is the jail population. As I sit here today, the jail population is 1,935 inmates. At the beginning of this year, the jail population was over 2,600. We already had many processes in place that were working to reduce the jail population every day. The people that are in custody at 201 Poplar are charged with very serious, violent crimes, and many of them have criminal histories that go back years. Individuals who are charged with low-level offenses are rarely, if ever, in jail. We are looking every day to identify people that we can safely, reasonably, and responsibly release from jail and back into the community.
But again, as with everything we do, we do that remembering our duty to you, the public, and our responsibility to the victims of these crimes. Just recently, we have identified any and all cases that were ready for disposition, inmates who had expressed an interest in pleading guilty, and we are fast tracking those case, cases and reducing what would typically take us weeks, maybe months to get done. We're doing that now in a matter of days. We will continue to do that work. I've also asked every senior prosecutor in this office to review every case of every inmate in custody to see if there are any that we could possibly, again, safely, reasonably, and responsibly take action working with their attorneys to reach a disposition that would result in their release. We appreciate everything you and all of our partners are doing to help us during this time. If there's anything that the DA's office can do to help you and your family, if you have any questions about any of this, don't hesitate to call. Again, our number is 901-222-1300. Thank you.